today's the day we're heading up Heartbreak Hill. We're starting to head up Heartbreak Hill. We reverse back to the water point, so we're filling up with water. I'm just about to go and do the rubbish. Pete's going to do the toilets, and then we're going to get going. They can see another Westie over there. Just left the water point, full up with water, toilets are emptied, got rid of the rubbish, and there's Paul and Anthony just heading out to follow behind us. Good morning. Uh, we're heading south on Trent and Mersey from Wheellock towards the junction of the Macclesfield Canal. I'm um, not sure if we're going to make it all the way there today because it's something like 23 or 25 locks. Um, I think they call it Heartbreak Hill. So, um, a lot of locks to do today. A lot of locks. Paul and Anthony behind. So, we've got helpers. Yeah, the great news is it's parallel locks, so there's two locks side by side. We're just approaching the first one now. So, we should be able to get both boats in and maybe race on each lock, see how far it gets <laughs> out. You can for win. This. So, Race uh, up Heartbreak Hill. Yeah, so uh, anyway, it should be fun. Well, we might only get halfway today. We'll yeah, see. we'll see, see, how, how it goes. see how we go, see how the weather holds up. When we're cruising, we follow the maps in the Nicholson's Guides. Our journey today starts there at the bottom of the page, the little house which is the Wheelock Facilities. Then over the page and up the 26 locks that are affectionately known as Heartbreak Hill to where the Trent and Mersey Canal joins the Macclesfield Canal. So you can see the, the parallel locks up there. Um, just going to go and check them out to see if they're... Both, I think they both need empty in, we'll see in a minute. We're going to race you. <laughs> the official name for this stretch is actually the Cheshire Locks, but with 26 locks covering a distance of 7 miles, They've been affectionately renamed Heartbreak Hill. Come and see if it's worthy of the name. Yeah, both full, so I'm going to empty both full so we can both come up together. We're winning. Pete's hopped off to close that gate behind Paul, and Anthony has run ahead to set the next lock for us. He's up there in the paddles for the lock.
strong. So I had the boat try and hold the boat against the back gate when we're going uphill and um, just kept sucking us forward even with the lock just half, you know, with the gate paddle half open. Uh, sucked us forward so I, I got it in full reverse and it smashed us straight in the front gate. I thought everything had fallen off the shelves inside the boat but uh, <laughs> we were alright but it did it twice so I think Paul and Anthony had the same trouble in the other lock as well. This lot was already set in our favour, which saves time, we don't have to empty it. But the other one, the parallel one, is full, so I'm just going to empty it now. You can see me here checking with Pete that it's okay for me to start letting the water in. So I'm opening the paddles bit by bit so it goes in slowly. Pete's got the boat in reverse but it's still being sucked forward towards the gate. So I'm just easing off on the paddles. Look a load of old working boats there. Pop a final spring there. Full full of blossom. So I think at one point this was a double lock, but they've turned this this one over this side into a sluice for the bywash. I'll just video you working, Paul. Go on then, hop off.
the peak came ahead, set the locks and opened the gates, ready for them to go straight in. Bacon ready. Bacon's ready, yes. There you go, look. Thank you. Enjoy. Pop, do you want a bacon sandwich? So, only one of these locks is open. Um, the other one's padlocked up, the left one. The pause is going in now is open. Pete's just holding back there because there's another boat in the other lock that's just coming down so that was really good timing. So that boat's just come out of the lock, we're heading in and uh, we'll be good to keep going. So hopefully the locks will be set in our favour now because the two boats have just come down them. So we're at lock 58 now on the Trenton Mersey, right by the M6. Can you see the traffic going by there? And we all said the amount of times that we've been up and down the M6 for years and years, and you never even notice these locks here. It's quite strange, really. So Paul went ahead to set the lock for us, open the gates for Pete to go in. This is a single lock, this one. There's no parallel lock. So it looks like the rest of them are single locks. It's got to lock 56 and that's a single lock. So I've opened the lock gate. I think Paul's gonna come over, come past Pete and then um, come into the lock. Pete's been up to set this lock up here while we're doing this one so Paul can just leave this lock and go straight into the next lock. Now we're emptying this lock so that we can go in. Lock 55, while we were getting peeked through the other one, um, Paul came up through this one on his own.
next lock coming up. Lock 54, I think, this one. Another double lock. So that's good. We'll set this other lock for Paul to come straight in. There is just coming under the bridge now. Anthony's gone back to get the van and move it up ahead of us. We're just waiting a few minutes. Anthony has gone back on the bike to get the van and he's gonna come back and meet us up here. There's parking just over here to the left, right by the canal. Hang on, Pop. So we'll move the van and we'll go ahead a little bit. We've got about six more locks to do until a spot that we can stop tonight. Hey Mish, where are you going? And while we're waiting for Anthony to get the van, we're entertained by some of the local residents. There's Anthony coming in the van now. Oh, these are steep, a steep step. Lock 53 looks to be set in our favour, so that's good. Yeah, that's Russell and Helen there on Professor Pat Pending. We were with them over the winter on the Langotlan, so it's good to see them again. To lock 52 now. Another double lock, parallel lock. We're just having a bit of a planning meeting, deciding where we're going to stop. We think we're going to do like another five locks today and stop at, we think, Church Lawton. So this next one looked like it was a parallel lock at one point, but one of them's been blocked up. And there's a boat coming down in the lock up there. So perfect timing, really in lock 51, and there's somebody just coming out of lock 50. So we've left the gates open to each other.
There's a couple of lovely benches here dedicated to people and the view is just amazing. got two more locks to do today before we stop. This one again looks like parallel locks but oh we can see a sign on one of them now it says locks closed. Keep using the bank for there. This is the other lock it looks like it's been not in use for quite some time now. It's great doing locks with friends because you can send somebody ahead to set the next lock while you're just finishing off the other one. It's made it a lot easier for us. Poppy and Hamish sitting there patiently waiting while we get Morning Star through the locks. What am I doing? Passing your boat, please. Oh. 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 That's Hamish fed up of waiting oh. now. So we've done, I think, 20 locks today, haven't we? Something like 20 that. locks. Yeah. Made a lot easier with having friends with us, yeah, isn't it? Definitely. Just so leapfrogging each boat, haven't we? We just heading around this corner to moor up for the evening and I think we've then got I think four locks until we get to the junction with the Macclesfield yeah and um, we'll do those yeah. quickly tomorrow um, but Anthony's working tomorrow so it'll just be the three of us won't it so we wanted to get as far as we could Four with four of us tomorrow, so. so hopefully there's moorings just round the corner here oh there's rings there's moorings on rings Pete Look, there's the rings, yeah, this is it. After eight hours of cruising, we settled down for the night, ready for an early start. So we're just untying to set off to carry on our um, journey up the flight to Heartbreak Hill. Got another six locks to do today. We've got Paul there behind us, wanting to go at nine, but it's 10. We've just been on a bit of a go slow this morning. So we've just left, it's just gone 10. We were moored up at Church Lawton last night and um, we have got another six locks to do. I think yeah. I've had six, six locks before we get on the Macclesfield Canal. So, so I think that's the last six locks of Heartbreak Hill. Um, so that's been interesting, hasn't it? Yeah. Quite a lot of locks, but it was fun doing it with friends. I think a lot easier doing it with friends than it would have been on our own for sure. Oh yeah. So you can there. see Paul there in Morning Star behind us. Anthony's at work today, so it's just the three of us.
around this corner, our first lock of the day. I think lock number 46, 46 or 45. There's a train coming as well, look. Lock number 46. Like a double lock and they look like they're both in working order. I've opened one of the gates, it's going into that one, and then this lock here, I've just opened the paddles and it's just empty in now. And Paul will go into this one. This is true multitasking, getting both boats through these parallel locks at the same time. I'm just running around between the locks getting them set. said there's two boats coming down so we're going to leave both of these gates open it's always good when you see boats coming in the other direction as you can leave the lock gates open ready for them to come in, which saves time and effort on these big heavy locks. And with Anthony at work, we were missing another helper to help close the lock gates. One after the next lock. Lock 44. 44. That was good because both locks were set in our favour, so we didn't have to empty them first. Done, and now we're going to fill up with water at Red Bull Services. There's two taps here, so one for each of us. We only filled up with water yesterday, but we never like to pass a water point without filling up again, just to be on the safe side.
so I've left Paul and Pete filling up the water and uh, I'm going to go and set the lock. Handy little right next to the canal just there and uh, just under that bridge Paul's aiming for it now is the Macclesfield Canal we're turning right to go under that bridge you can see that sharp right turn onto the Macclesfield Canal circled in green after a total of ten and a half hours cruising over two days we'd finally defeated Heartbreak Hill and we have to say it was far easier and a lot more fun with good friends. If you've enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up and give us a like and if you're not subscribed already hit the subscribe button it really helps our small channel grow. Got everything here, at least to stay alive.